Our smartphones are becoming more and more powerful and more and more intelligent. So when we are using those smartphones more often, we are more accustomed to using their interface. But what if we have to do some big project, some big text that we want to write? Then we usually go to our computers and do it there. But when we need some pictures, then ah, we have to just transfer it over. And of course, there are easy things to do it, like KD Connect or other applications that I already showed you. But what about if I could just edit and have my desktop operating system on my smartphone itself? And Samsung and Huawei both have a solution for this. We can just plug in via the USB-C cable a nice little HDMI adapter and have a fully completed desktop system. So what I want to do now in this video is compare the Samsung DeX against the Huawei Emotion UI desktop. And yeah, let's take a look. Let's get started. So let's start with Samsung DeX. I plug in my Galaxy S10e here and you will get a signal in a second where, yeah, there we go. It started Samsung DeX. I'm not sure if you saw the Samsung DeX uh, logo as well. I have now a mouse attached as well, as you can see the mouse if I move it, move it here. And I have a keyboard attached via Bluetooth. You can also see here some options as well on the taskbar. So we have a taskbar at the bottom. We have the option to choose our sound aus output here. So we can change the sound output to this phone, which is by default, or this display device, which is in this case my uh, Samsung monitor. And if I choose display device, it will play back via the HDMI port. And if I play something back, you would also hear it. So it's a pretty basic Windows-like feeling that you will get with taskbar, audio, screenshots, uh, some notifications that come in here, um, some options that you can change. You have a calendar here, you have a clock as well. You have the typical Android navigation buttons here at the bottom. Why you need them here, I don't know. Uh, but you also have a full screen menu where you can uh, search for applications and launch them, of course, as well. So all your applications that are available on your uh, device itself are listed here and you can just simply open up an application just like Wall Heaven, for example. This is an application only optimized for smartphone screens. So what you will see here is we have a minimize button, we have a maximize button. This one is not working for this particular app because this one doesn't support it. And you can close the app application as well. You can see that most apps run in full screen. If you want to first force turn on those apps to resize, you can go to Dex Labs, which allows you to do this, which is like an option uh, where you can have, uh, yeah, you can force applications to run in, um, in a resizable mode uh, and other options here as well in Dex Labs. But I can run one application here, I can see some screenshots, uh, some wallpapers, I mean, and I can also run uh, other applications in a window, for example, my files application. I have to double click. And uh, this one I can resize, as you can see here. I can change the size the way I want it. And it is adapting to it, has even a user interface that changes to a column view here. And if I go to uh, documents, for example, it goes here, it shows me the files on the right side. And I can do the same with the audio stuff and I could just play something back but I think I don't have like uh, this is something new pipe uh, I could like start this which is an audio podcast just to tell you or so to know insgesamt habe ich in diesem Jahr Ray und Wildschweine zusammen glaube ich 18 okay, here this working but where's the player davon uh, uh, Dafür habe ich in my notifications, as you can see, I can control the player, can click on it and have like this, but it is not opening up for some reason. So this is something maybe specific to the VLC player. And for some reason, the normal music player is not opening up. Open with, I only have three applications here that I can choose from, but I have the option to right click just normally like on a, my normal computer. And I have the option to add to home screen. Let's do this 
and add this to home screen you can see it will create a desktop icon if i'm listening to this podcast a little longer i have the option to remove it as well so you can see this multitasking is working as well i can also use if i have those two tasks open i this one minimized alt tab to switch between the tabs i have to enable my bluetooth keyboard maybe for it to work now i have a keyboard symbol here as you can see so my keyboard is now detected and now i can use alt tab and you can see i also get little previews of the window i want to see so i can switch to this one and yeah it's working pretty fine i can also open up other applications just like for example the internet browser this one i already put in full screen uh, but i can also minimize it here and you can see that i can adapt this one as well the websites adapt it is optimized for the desktop usage as well you can open up new tabs by control t and it will open up i have the dark mode enabled here so it is also using applying the dark mode for most websites which, which is pretty nice as well so if you want to work in the dark this is possible here as well i can go to the full screen option i have the option to just go to a website here let's go to samsung.com and this should work fine as you can see here yes it's working fine so it's loading the German website because I'm in Germany, but yeah, scrolling via the mouse is working fine as well. Uh, playing something back here in terms of videos is also working. If I want to search for Samsung uh, DAX, for example, and I want to search for videos, I have the possibility to just click in here and it will load in the web browser. There's the video. Okay, video. There's a video, and even if I click now on YouTube here, it will go to the YouTube website. Get a real-time bird's-eye view of your projects. Of course, Create. you get now advertisements, but you can also go. Let's skip the ad. You can go into full screen mode here, and it's playing nicely. And I have all the settings here, like I can set 1080p resolution and yeah everything is working fine as you can see here so it's not opening up the youtube app for some reason for this but it's staying in the browser but this is working nicely and i have yeah, the key combinations like control w to close a tab control t to open up a tab uh, can i control shift t yes i even can control shift t to open up my last tab that i had open What's not working is middle mouse button click to close this tab. You can see I'm clicking, but nothing is happening. Right click I can do, close other tabs, close all tabs, and so on. Reopen tabs. So it is optimized a little bit. Some applications are optimized already for the desktop usage, and I think you can work fine on it. If you have a text editor on it, I don't have Microsoft stuff in here, but if you have like Microsoft Office Suite on here, you can also write uh, documents and uh, do your simple desktop stuff as well if you have video editors here you can also edit videos i'm not sure if i have like kinemaster or something installed here no i don't have it installed here but yeah video editors in general would work as well the escape key is also working fine hitting escape the super key is also working fine to bring uh, the menu as you can see here and yeah it is a pretty nice application it has sometimes its limits on certain applications that don't work uh, like they should work in, in, in window mode, for example. Uh, but in general, it is working uh, fine and it's working fluidly, uh, as you can see, and has, I think, good configurations. Do we have any specific configurations for DEX? I have to say, I didn't see anything in particular. If you don't have a touchpad or mouse attached, you can use the phone screen as touchpad so it will just simply turn the phone screen on actually currently it's turned off and if you use this you have the possibility to uh, use the phone screen as touchpad which is uh, cool and you have here the option also smart things to change the audio output so you don't have to go to the settings uh, when it comes to keyboards with special keys just like for example turning volume up and down you can see this is working nicely when it comes to brightness turning up and down 
uh, I don't have such keys and I couldn't test this out but most of the keys are working also like uh, muting something is working as well and what I didn't try out is uh, maybe I have to go to the music app here is there even a music app let's play music and Amazon music um, okay let's try Amazon music there is also support for um, there is support also for the media keys at least on my keyboard and uh, uh, continue continue so uh, what I can do is like uh, I could just play back a station here hey. and I can pause it with my media key on my keyboard as you can see here and I can go forward a bit Vincent kriegt kein Hoch, wenn er an so you can see this is working as well with my media keys I'm controlling it with my media keys not with my mouse I'll put my mouse away show you again Mädchen, dang, er hat es off. so you can see I can also go back uh, hey. so as you can see here this is working fine there's some other options here like going home going home key is working as well so it's showing me the desktop or going back going to media which should load uh, not media going to email which should load the email client in this case it's asking me which email client I want to use uh, I don't have emails uh, in here I've also copy cut copy and paste options here as well uh, which uh, I don't know why they need to be as media keys because control C and uh, control V is working fine as well as control A for marking stuff let's let's go in here and uh, type in this is a test and I can print uh, head control A to mark it control C to copy it you can see copy to clipboard this is working nicely as well so it is a full-fledged yeah, desktop system it's a bit different and you don't have all the applications you can only run Android applications but it's working fine so far some Android applications have some limits because they're not optimized for desktop usage just like this Amazon uh, player for example but in general there's no much uh, of a problem here running Samsung DeX so this is Samsung DeX and a small overview of Samsung DeX and uh, let's try Emotion UI EMUI desktop mode so let's take a look at Emotion UI desktop EMUI desktop mode which is available on Emotion UI 11 devices I just plugged my phone in it's asking me if I want to have wired projection I say agree and now it's doing its thing and should load the Emotion UI desktop there we go and here we have the Emotion UI desktop which uh, now it looks even more like Windows XP because we have now uh, Windows XP like wallpaper and basically the same setup as on the Samsung DeX and keep in mind this is Emotion UI 11 desktop there is Harmony OS desktop mode in the pipelines already it's not yet out on Harmony OS devices but this one looks then completely different so this one has a windows like feeling we have the same like uh, panel at the bottom we have the android buttons now uh, completely to the right here we have our calendar and uh, our clock we have our notifications and our toggles in one sidebar so you can see our notifications here and we have our toggles we have again a sound option where I can say I want to have display device as output this is by default here because it's, it, it saved it that I had it last time otherwise it can also be automatic so if I play back audio it will be uh, um, here if I click on here it will open up a notepad option which allows me to write certain stuff down if I want to so if I want to take some notes which is also interesting then we have some applications here as well uh, and of course on the desktop as uh, well just like Google Maps is on the, des on the desktop which is I install Google Maps you know usually they don't come with Google services I have files here and just like uh, on Samsung Galaxy DeX I also have the option to go here in full screen but you can see it is not optimized for the desktop it is running you can maximize it of course you can minimize it you can go into full screen uh, and you can close it full screen looks like this and I have a bar here that is hiding automatically see so and I can go out of full screen as well 
but it's not optimized for the um, desktop, which is a bit sad because I know that um, Huawei has an option for the tablets where it is optimized for a wider screen uh, options here. And I can also not resize this app, as you can see here. This has a fixed size. There's nothing I can do to resize this app. So this is a bit awkward. This is a bit dumb, but in general, yeah, this is what you can expect. Can I reset? Can really? Didn't I reset it before? Let's close it again. Let's open it up again. I think I reset it before. Anyway, it's not possible to resize. And uh, yeah, anyway, you can also work, of course, with, with files and folders here. And this is working uh, nicely. You have uh, drag and drop support as well, if you would like to. We have also. Let's let's maybe also make it. Uh, clear here I can search for keyboard is working as well as you can see the wall have an application interestingly enough you can see that the wall have an application here is uh, it's possible to have it in a bigger view than on Samsung uh, decks but what I cannot do is like resize the window I can only drag here around I don't get a resize option but I can go into full screen for example which uh, works on the app, so I don't have to activate anything special, it's just working. Okay, so I'll go completely full screen if I want to, and go completely back to close the app. And here you can see I have, uh, for some reason the virtual keyboard popped on, I have a smaller start menu that I can use here. And uh, yeah, right click is not working on this app, is right click working on this app not working left click is working to open up something so i can open up this text file if i want to right click is not working pressing long and holding you can see i can drag and drop it somewhere if i want to now i get the context menu here at the bottom um also i'm not sure if you can see it the text looks a bit crumbled up messed up this could be something that it is meant for higher resolution displays and not this, what is it, 22 inch uh, monitor that I'm having here right now. But what you can do is you can change this in the settings, I think. So there is an option, there was an option before to change it in the settings. Don't see it right now. There's an option to go and have the projection mode differently so i can like go into clone mode which looks like the phone and then if i go in here again and say projection mode desktop mode it's going to the desktop mode but it's not it's opening up even the applications that i had opened up before which is also something that in samsung decks you can only do via experimented settings experimental settings and uh, yeah here I have this, I have alt tab functionality as well, I only have one application open, the files application as well, but you can see no preview window for those, uh, but alt tab is also working fine and also quick enough as well. And uh, yeah, if I want to do some browsing, I have a browser here as well, I can open it up, and it's open up in full screen. I can also have it like this. There's an option here, and I have like yeah, all the options. Also, a bit optimized for the desktop. I can also double click on the uh, top bar to go into full screen mode. But what I figured out is like a uh, control T for new tab, control W for closing tabs is not working. So, at least not with this browser. You have to have a third party browser, just like for example, what do we have here? Do we have Brave? We have the Brave browser here, and if I open up this Brave browser, not now, don't want it to be the default, I can use Control T to open up a new tab, Control W to close the tab. For some reason, this keyboard is popping up. This might have something to do with the default keyboard uh, changed, so uh, what I could do is, of course, go and change the keyboard to something else again. But as you can see here, this is the Celia keyboard. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think it is a problem with the CD Kids e earlier version. What, when you go to the Microsoft keyboard, you don't have this issue of it popping up all the time. And yeah, what I can do is just simply browse uh, huawei.de. I think they have a German website. 
and this should work fine as you can see here and I can resize this window of the browser of course so this is working as you can see here it's adapting and uh, let's go to the default browser I can also can I resize the default browser it be interesting to see default browser I cannot resize there's no resize option for the default browser but I can go into full screen and what we want to do is for example search for the brand new Huawei P50 P50 maybe there's a video out searching on Google and I can go to videos in here and I have the option to say okay I want to see this video for example is, it, is there even a video as an article I think there's a video or something else so maybe take this one here and accept is there a video attached here somewhere There's no video here's a video a different video doesn't matter I can click on it to play it back in the browser Mit dem course, iPhone XL. but I also can go and say I want to watch it on YouTube you can see it is also opening up this here in uh, the browser instead of the YouTube application but sometimes it is asking also do you want to uh, load this in the YouTube app and then I can say yes and this works as well uh, what do we have uh, else here like tab features tiling features are missing uh, at least for this application when we open up uh, brave for example um, do we have tiling features yes we have tiling features for brave as you can see here i can tile it to all sides here uh, left and right only the edge tiling i think it's not working so you have only left and right tiling possibilities here for the window and yeah I would like use a browser like Brave which is more optimized for desktop instead of the Huawei browser so Huawei if you're listening maybe add those, those keyboard shortcuts add an option to resize the browser I know that you're working on Harmony OS so maybe you can do it there implement it there as well as like the files application in, in the desktop mode should work a bit better but in general you can see it's also working nicely there are some uh, issues here and there we have right click support create a new file or folder change the wallpaper or change the screen size ah change screen size to medium to small ah i can change the screen size here but it doesn't change the font because i think the font is not so crispy um, as on samsung but maybe i can change the font somewhere else as well because I think I switched the font here on my device to the Harmony S font and it could be that in the default font setting it looks a bit better uh, do we have settings here to set up? we don't have settings so there's no setting up right now that I can use for um, this I can go like in here no I cannot do this so Anyway, this is Emotional Desktop and this is basically the overview of Emotional Desktop and of um, DeX, Samsung DeX Desktop. So it can work fine on them if I have a... Do I have Office here? Some kind of Office here. Yeah, I have WP Office or Microsoft Office is also. Microsoft Office is also here. So I could like uh, write a new text. Yeah? Note, Word, Excel, PowerPoint blank document and I could just simply write here and do my stuff I have to uh, yeah in theory I have to log into this but it, I could work here with this as you can see here and have like a normal Microsoft Office document work with it here and have the option to save stuff as well if I want to uh, so yeah this is I think everything for this overview I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah what do you think which one is better so this is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it you can tell me which of those ones is better the samsung or the huawei in desktop mode which one has the better options just write it to me in the comment section and that is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye